Hello students, today we are going to see the English language part 1, closed test. What is closed test? Closed test is a passage where you have incomplete sentences which is either in the form of a verb which has to be filled or a preposition or a conjunction that should be appropriately used in the blank space. It is to ensure that the sentence gets completed and it is to test the language efficiency of second language nativity people. Now we will move to the topic. In the following passage, there are blanks each of which has been numbered. These numbers correspond to the question numbers against each question. Five words have been suggested, one of which will fill the blank appropriately. The passage starts it like this. It took the Delhi High Court to set right last week a largely inexplicable instance of official gender. Dash. It ruled that the Indian Navy must grant permanent commission to women as well as the Army and the Air Force had to do following a 2010 order by a different bench of the same court. Now, women could qualify only for the Navy's short service commission with tenure of up to 14 years. This made them ineligible for pension and often unable to find other work they were qualified for, virtually midway through their working lives. Following the latest ruling, women who dash for a permanent commission will be able to work until the age of 54 as their male counterparts do. The 19 women who filed dash before the court argued that they had received the same training as their male counterparts and worked for a comparable number of years in different departments, but could go no further for the only reason that they were women. The High Court rightly ruled that it could not support any provision that would restrain the professional dash of women. Grant of permanent commission would allow women to rise in rank along with the men and gain pay parity. So let us see what is the first question. Find out the appropriate word in each case. In the blank space where we have seen in the passage that is inexcusable instance of official gender it dash it ruled that the Indian Navy. Is it bias or equality or discrimination or rights or disturbance? So what should be the appropriate word that can fill the space? So here obviously it should be bias. So what is bias? Bias is trying to show some differences or some favor. So bias should be the word that should fill the gap. Now let us go to the second part. Find out the appropriate word in the second space that is by a different bench of the same code dash now women could qualify only for the Navy short service commission. So what should come in that position until now. So that means it is trying to say a situation or a occasion. So now what should come in this place until now women could qualify only for the Navy short service commission. So that should be the appropriate word which is filling the gap. Let us move to the third part. Find out the appropriate word where it says that following the latest ruling women who dash for a permanent commission will be able to work until the age of 54. So it is trying to mention something about the eligibility. So what we can understand from this basis, so it is trying to say about the qualification 
or eligibility criteria or what is really required. So, the appropriate word which can fill into this gap is qualified. So, women who qualify for a permanent commission will be able to work until the age of 54. Now, let us move to the fourth part. Find out the appropriate word which can fill into the 19 women who filed dash before the court argued that they had received the same training. So, is it case or complaint or plea or petition or the request? So, which should be filling that part? So, quite obviously, petitions that means people have filed. So, it can be either a suit or a case or a petition. So, what is matching with this three words? Obviously, it should be the petition. Okay. So, 19 women who filed petitions before the court argued that they had received the same training as their male counterparts. Now, let us move to the fifth part. The High Court rightly ruled that it could not support any provision that would restrain from the professional dash of women. So, what should come in this space? Is it advancement or proceed or grow or increment or acceleration? So, here it is trying to say something as a change or an initiative or some move. So, which word can match all these things? So, obviously, advancement should be the right word which can fill the gap. That means, the High Court rightly ruled that it could not support any provision that would restrain the professional advancement of women. That means, improvement or enhancement or empowerment as the case may be. Okay. Question number 6 to 10. In the following passage, there are blanks, each preceded by a word given in bold. Every blank has four alternative words given in options A, B, C and D. Find the word which best suits the place. If the given word suits a blank, mark no correction or change required as the answer. At the end of his rousing speech to the US Congress, Prime Minister Narendra Modi quoted Walt Whitman to indicate that there was a new symphony in play between India and the US. The past two years bear out such lyricism in the bilateral relationship. Defense ties have been dash in three years in defense dash procurement from the US as well as co-development projects which are worth over 14 billion dollars in coordination, cooperation and sharing of information between the two defense forces and strategic relationship with India's positioning on non-alignment that is the most dramatic score in the dash. Although the center has drawn the line at an dash and joint patrols, it is clear from the joint vision statement signed in New Delhi last year that the Modi government intends to more closer to the US on defense issues. In recognition, during Mr. Modi's visit, the US declared India a major defense partner, a designation especially created to describe this new relationship and one that is just short of a military alliance. In 2005, Manmohan Singh told the US Congress of how India's growth and prosperity are in American interest and the heavy lifting was yielded has yielded annual bilateral trade of 107 billion dollars now. On Wednesday, Mr. Modi took the theme forward by saying a stronger and bereft India is in America's strategic interest. 
So this is the passage and where certain options are given and the word which is matching with the words given in the bracket has to be applied.